Hello there everybody, I'm Freezer Bunny Simmer and welcome back to my channel. So yeah guys, welcome back to the first speed build of Sims 3 Creator World in Versailles. Um so yeah, um this is episode one, but technically this is the second upload because the previous video that I uploaded um was about um kind of giving you guys a tour of the world. So if you guys haven't seen that, the reason why um you guys can see that there's um a significant amount of work that has been completed in this world already is because that I have been working on this world for almost more than two years already. So I started at about 2012 and continuously I have worked on it, tweaked it, and you know I'm a perfectionist. So okay, whatever. Um, so yeah, this is the world's oversight. So if you guys want to hear more information about it, there are um there is a video that I posted previously. It's um episode zero zero, and you guys can hear me introduce it to you guys and um show you guys what I have so far. So anyway, guys, um since half of this video or more like ninety percent of this video is composed of like just terrain painting and in particular terrain painting the um rural farming areas um you know what guys i thought i might as well take this opportunity to tell you guys um about the world and myself and all that good stuff so yeah we are doing the rural area there are three kind of clusters of rural areas um this is the last one the other two i've done a couple of days ago before i decided to you know record my progress so you guys didn't miss much already but um i personally when i'm building worlds um well this is my first ever world um that have went this far pretty much i have tried to build other worlds but those obviously failed so <laughs> those obviously failed miserably so this one kind of feels like i have the motivation to finish so yeah anyway um, I when when I was creating worlds, the most difficult part of making them were definitely terrain painting for me because I suck at terrain painting, guys. Like I seriously suck balls at it. Like I'm seriously really really bad. And um, but honestly, I'm actually really proud of what I have so far. So um, and if you guys can see, um, this is fast forward. This is a speed build, pretty much. But I'm really taking it slow because I don't want to make any mistakes and have to go back on myself, pretty much. But yeah, terrain painting is very, very difficult, especially terrain painting um, the farm patches of farmland because those um, you can't like rotate um, the the side of it, like the orientation of it, pretty much. So it's just more or less like just it's a straight thing oh, oh, my, oh my gosh i hope i'm making sense and yes um i do have the option of like importing new textures into this creator world but i choose not to because i i don't have anything against custom content or custom anything pretty much but um like i just feel safer you know i feel reassured that the people who are going to download this world don't feel like there's any risk because there's absolutely no custom content involved and one more thing it's also a challenge for me because um you know I have to make do with what we have and honestly it's not so bad you know the the terrain overall was inspired by Riverview because it kind of has that rural um setting that I wanted for the surrounding of the Chateau Versailles so I'm really really excited to see where this thing leads to and I really hope to god that I get the motivation to finish this project because if I don't I'm like totally gonna hate myself um so yeah so yeah you guys can also see me over here adding some lots there's gonna be a lot of lots that are gonna be farmland so I'm thinking of purchasing the um the chicken premium content and the cow premium content I forgot their names <laughs> um yeah, I forgot their names. I know for a fact that the chicken premium content is already available for purchase individually for 500 sim points. But the cow, I'm still waiting for it 
to be available so that I could, I could purchase them both. Or maybe there's a sale, you know. I'm I'm really, really tight on cash, guys. So it's not like I could purchase anything um, that I want because I would want to purchase everything in the store. But anyway, um, you guys can also see that there are a couple of rabbit holes that I've already placed. You guys can see that those two over there are um, the the film rabbit hole and the criminal rabbit hole um i thought since they look kind of industrial i would put them like on the outskirts of town pretty much so yeah this lot that i'm working on is going to be a farmhouse and it's it's gonna look like it has the field as a part of it pretty much so yeah there is going to be more fields yay i know it's really boring but you know i might as well share it with you guys so that you guys can see how to paint um fields like this and yeah because i s did search on youtube like on tips on how to paint um the terrain like this but um there wasn't exactly like any like substantially good tutorials oh my gosh i'm like lambasting other people but whatever um i suck too so yeah so yeah um i hope you guys comment and like t definitely um the world is still under construction um like i should bold that guys the world is still under construction like um every time i do um a build a let's build a speed build of creating the world that means that um i just finished recording it like on the day that I finish recording the, the the speed build, I will upload it immediately. So I would really, really appreciate you guys giving me some input because I've been working on this for two years already, or more than two years. So I really, really, really want to finish it. So if you guys like wanna vol wanna volunteer to build some lots, um, you guys can see on the left side of the screen there are already more than seventy lots. So that's freaking me out because um it's gonna take me forever to furnish those like so far there's only like less than 10 lots that actually have um stuff in them let alone like 70 lots i'm pretty sure we're gonna go up to almost 200 you know i'm trying not to um go over 150 lots but you know who knows whatever as long as we achieve what we want Anyway guys, I think I forgot to mention in the previous videos that this world is going to be compatible and is going to require all expansion packs and almost all stuff packs except for um, diesel, um, movie stuff, and town life stuff um, because those I don't have. But pretty much everything, especially the expansion packs, there is going to be at least 90% um, of all the laws that came with expansion packs like bars and clubs and showtime venues and um, perhaps even like some a resort you know not exactly a diving spot because I don't think that would make any sense but probably a resort would do and um, let's see what else yeah but the main focus of this world is really the palace of Versailles because I have been obsessed with that you know ever since forever and ever since I started my journey um, as a creator in the Sims series so maybe I should talk about that in a vlog I really don't know but yeah so yeah I told you guys that 90% of this video was just gonna be me painting um, the farm areas but you know what I'm really happy that I was able to get that out of the way because now I could almost finish the world and so far it's about I should say about 70 percent done 60 to 70 percent done the world itself the lots there's there's gonna be a lot of work on them but you know the sims 4 is gonna come out i believe in september so um you know i do have like more than half a year to work on this hopefully i will remain motivated and definitely you guys can help in motivating me because um you know you guys can give me some input that i really really need and yeah also guys I will link down in the description there is a forum that I started in mod the sims um about a year ago last year and um and pretty much um you guys can see the progress that you've missed over this year that I have um so yeah and one more thing I'm doing a video because um back then I try to use screenshots but um I really really don't like working with screenshots because they're so 
um, they're so tedious. I know vid videos are really tedious anyway, but screenshots, you know, you need to resize them, you need to upload them, and you need to copy and paste. But so I, I was like, okay, if I upload videos, they would see the process and they would see, they could figure out for themselves how I build this world. So I think it would be better. And you know what? Um, a lot of builders actually have been uploading creator worlds like, um, a Dutch Sim Master and um, the Sim Supply. Um, so, yeah, um, that pretty much just um, inspired me, I guess, to also show you guys the world that I've been working on. Because why not? You know, whether I finish it or not, at least I promise I'm gonna upload um, this world. And you know what, guys? There are actually a version of this world that is out there. If you go to Mod The Sims, there are some links there so you guys can um, see for yourself what to expect in the world in the Sims 3 game itself. So those are exported already. They are not like 100% um, complete, but they are substantially finished. Um, those worlds versions that I uploaded um, a couple of months ago, or like last month, um, pretty much to show the people who follow me on Mod The Sims where I am at this point. So there are two versions. The one version has all the um, mods that are um, placeholders and the other version is um, pretty much the world that I'm working on itself. So um, that it will be closer to the final product. And yeah, you guys can see that I finished building, um, um, I mean I finished painting all the terrain and now I'm just sculpting the landscape that would pretty much match um the concierge that I want and yeah in the next work we're still gonna be working on this area and probably venture out on all the other areas and you know if it goes on long enough I could probably work on placing some foliage pretty much but yeah you guys can see that terrain painting is really really tricky so um I hope you guys are patient enough to stick with me all throughout this video. I tried to make it as short as possible because um just because. So yeah, over here I'm kind of making some hills or some mountains just to pretty much frame the um you know frame the rural area and kind of give some separation or some delineation <laughs> big word. You know, delineation with some of the lots that are here. And if you guys can see that large kind of pond area on the lower left that is going to be where a chateau is going to be built it is going to be a sim version of an actual real life chateau and if you guys i'm not gonna say it specifically now but um the chateau is built on water and it looks like it's floating so there's a lot of those so you guys can kind of um, tease yourself as to which one i'm gonna build but i am gonna say that there are a lot of people who tried to build it in the same tree and I was like okay I could do one myself a, my, a version of my own so yeah and if you guys don't know in my channel there's also some let's plays that are available for you guys to watch if you guys want to hear more of my voice or if you guys just want to see um, how I play my game but this part is going to be ending really really soon so yes all the links for my social media are in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.